hello friends welcome to my channel in this video i am going to explain you types of flow lines and stream tube so friends let's start friends there are mainly three types of flow lines first is a straight line or filament line second is path line and third is stream line so friends let's see one by one first is straight line or filament line friends the curve that gives an instantaneous picture of location of fluid particles which have passed through a given point is called a straight line so friends we will to understand the straight line concept we will take a example of nozzle and chimney suppose friends this is a nozzle and from this nozzle smoke particles or smoke is ejected there are these are the smoke particles which follow this path this straight line is a path and here for friends in this case also this is a chimney and from this chimney this smoke is come out these are the smoke particles all these are the smoke particles and this smoke particles follows this path this smoke particle follows this path or curve and this smoke particle follows this path or curve here friends in both the examples the path followed by the smoke particles is illustrated by a line this is a line here and here also this these are the lines these lines or curve or path is called as a straight line or filament line this one this line this line this one and this line next is friends path line friends the actual path followed by a fluid particle as it moves during the a period of time is called a path line friends we will understand the path line concept with the help of our example for this purpose i have given the colors to each part uh, smoke particle to understand path line we will take this green particle smoke particle and this red smoke particle so friends here see here a fluid particle one single particle path line gives the path of a single particle so first we will take the green particle the green particle has followed this path particular path as we can see at some time interval of time this is at t1 this particle is here at t2 this particle is here at t3 this particle is here and at t4 it is here and so on it is like this and similarly friends we have taken another particle that is red particle here red particle it follows this path and at t1 it is here at t2 is it, it is here at t3 it is here this is this is the position of the particle at different times so friends as we have seen a part of fluid particle a single particle which follows a particular path or curve it is called as path line next friend path line shows the direction of the velocity of same particle at successive instant of time it means friends path line shows the direction of velocity direction of velocity of this same or this same particle at successive instant of time that is at this point at this point at this point every further time interval it shows the direction of the velocity this path line next is friend path line can intersect itself and with other path line see here friends this is 
this is a green path line green, green colored pa particles path line and it can intersect within itself here the like this it has been intersected here and second is with other part path line this is one path line one particle path line and this is another particle path line and they are in intersected here at this point next is friend path line phenomenon is based on lagrangian approach lagrangian approach it means friends lagrangian approach it is based on only a fluid particles it is about fluid particles next is friends streamline friends the imaginary line drawn in the fluid imaginary line drawn in the fluid in such a way that the tangent to any point gives the direction of motion at that point is called as streamline suppose friends these are these are the streamlines this one this one this one this one this one these are the streamlines and tangent here is a tangent at this point at this point here is the tangent to this streamline at this point this tangent is at this point for this line here is here is this tangent friends gives the direction of motion of this particle at this point okay then the streamline phenomenon is based on eulerian approach eulerian approach is friends based on particular region or fixed region it is study related to fixed region fixed region next is friend equation of streamline in two dimensional flow friends it is dx upon u is equal to dy upon v and in three dimensional flow it is dx upon u is equal to dy upon v is equal to dz upon w next friends the path line the straight line and streamline remain identical in steady flow steady flow next is friends stream tube the imaginary tube consists of number of streamlines they form a boundary surface which does not permit fluid across it is called stream tube it means friends it does not allow any fluid to across it the shape of the stream tube changes from one instant to another because of change in position of streamline here you can say see friends shape of shape of this stream tube has been changed in the figure the stream tube is generally assumed for small cross section so that velocity will be uniform throughout the section stream tube may be regular or irregular in shape thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you